Hi guys. I just want to do a short little intro today before we get on with your reading. The first thing that I want you to know is that I'm going to uh, make a duplicate of this video, this intro that I'm doing and I'm going to stitch it in front of all 12 signs. It's just going to save me from repeating myself. It's only a couple minutes and there's a few things that I wanted to go over. So if you decide that you're going to watch your moon or your rising sign or something like that, you don't have to watch the intro again. Just know that it's just duplicated. Also, I just wanted to let you know that I won't be doing any Vimeo extensions for the beginning of June readings. It's just because I know that a lot of people are going through financial difficulty right now. So I'm going to be doing the whole entire reading on the YouTube video. So they're going to be a little bit long. They're probably going to end up being somewhere around a half an hour. I have gotten a lot of new subs over the last few months and I'm starting to see comments, um, questions and things that need to be addressed for possibly my new subscribers. If you're already familiar with tarot card readings and you know how to interpret them, this message probably isn't for you because it's just kind of like a refresher. The first thing I want to address is the cross watchers. If you're a cross watcher and you're watching the sign for your person that you're in a relationship with and the reading is about that person, remember that the roles can always be reversed. People put comments below and they say things like, no, no, you have the story all wrong. It wasn't me, it was them. That's very possible. Tarot card readings are energy. It's energy that's around you. Energy can be connected to any person that is within the story. I also wanted to address the king and queen issue. I know that I have a hard time with it as well. Uh, as I'm flipping the cards, if I see a king, I'm going to say he. And if I see a queen, I'm going to say she. But also know that a king can be a female and a queen can be a male. Once again, it's just the energy of the card. I watch other readings on YouTube all the time and I'm a Virgo and I come up as the King of Pentacles. I know and when the person's doing the reading, I'm like, that's me right there. Just know that it is possible. Also, just know that not every reading is going to resonate with you or your situation every time. It's practically impossible. If you're listening to a reading and it's not making any sense to you, then it's just not your reading this time. The angels and the guides, they send down the messages, the important messages to the ones who need to hear them. You may not need to hear a message at this time. Also, it's a possibility that a reader is not connecting with you. If I'm not connecting with your energy, then possibly I'm just not the reader for you. There is other readers out there, some very good ones. I actually highly respect quite a few readers on YouTube. But just keep searching. You will find a reader that will connect with you. Okay, so your sun, your moon, your rising, and your Venus signs. What are they? Uh, someone who is an astrologer would probably be better off answering that question for you. But I will tell you this. You should know them. In the description box below every one of my videos, there is a link that will take you to an astrology page. You can put in your information and you can get your free astrology, it's free, a free astrology chart and you can find out what they are. And then go and just watch them because you might be surprised. I was surprised. I resonate highly with my rising sign my moon sign sometimes my sun sign seems to always be about my family and my children and my friends and things that are going on around me it's kind of strange you would think that your sun sign would make sense to you but i'm telling you that your your rising sign and your moon sign are really important you should know what they are you really should watch all three of them. Four, if you include your Venus. Your Venus is your love life. It's, it's your relationship, the person that is most significant in your life. And the last thing that I want to say is, if I'm not connecting with you or you don't like the way that I read, there's no need to leave a nasty comment. I just wanted to point out that I'm a person. 
and I have feelings and I work really hard on my readings and it's very hurtful when someone comes along and says things like you're the worst reader on YouTube that reading was absolutely horrible you're very unprofessional if you don't enjoy I, I, I don't even know how these people can do that I would never I can't even tell you how many times I've clicked on a YouTube video and I started watching it and I just said to myself wow this person's really bad like they don't know what they're doing um, I've been reading tarot cards for over 20 years so I, I don't take them personally I just I try not to give them any attention because I'm a strong believer in the law of attraction and if you give something attention it just grows I usually just delete it and I just move on but I do want you to know that it really hurts someone's feelings and you know if you don't have anything nice to say then, then just leave just go and watch somebody else who you do connect with or who you do like there's there's no need to make it known and be mean and it's not even just on my channel I, I see it on other uh, tarot card readers channels and you know we as readers we work really hard on these videos they're not easy it's not easy to sit there and look at those cards and try and put a story together to resonate with thousands of people and then put it up on YouTube and be bashed I appreciate uh, constructive criticism if somebody doesn't like the cards I'm using they don't like the way that I explain something they don't like my lighting you know I'm always open to making my readings better but for somebody to just blatantly say that you're absolutely horrible I mean that, that's just mean this is mean anyway like I said I'm not going to dwell on it I just wanted to point it out if you don't have anything nice to say then just move on please but for those of you who have so for the one nasty comment that I get I get a thousand good comments and I want you to know that I read every single comment sometimes it's while I'm sitting at a traffic light or while I'm standing in line for my groceries or something to that effect but I read them all and I appreciate them I try to answer them if I can I try to like them if I can but sometimes I'm just kind of in a rush and I'm reading them quickly but I do appreciate your comments and I just wanted to express my gratitude for the nice comments and the people that go out of their way to actually hit the thumbs up button and leave me a nice comment thank you I appreciate it besides that that's all I really wanted to address today if you're interested in any of the decks that I use in my reading there is a link below all of my videos that will take you to my Etsy shop most of the decks are available for purchase there Etsy is also the best way to reach me if you have a question about something I get tons of emails like I can't even explain to you I do go through them but sometimes it's days before you know I'll get to your email but I do check my Etsy emails in the morning and at night to you know make sure that nobody has any questions about my shop or if somebody's looking for a certain product or something I want to see if I could get it so I'm on my Etsy a lot so if you have a question just try and send me a message through the Etsy platform instead of through an email I do have a Facebook page and I did just start an Instagram I've only been on Instagram for like probably a month now uh, the links for those are in the description box below the video as well if anybody is interested in looking me up there and finally I want to say don't forget to like share hit the little notification bell leave me a comment and subscribe and thank you all many blessings best wishes to you namaste and I will see you soon hello Gemini welcome to your Tariscope for June 2020 this is for Gemini Sun Moon rising and Venus we are going to start off with an overall message from the energy Oracle deck angels divine spirits and guides please show me the messages for my Gemini friends what do they need to know for June 
2020. I'm kind of getting this one right here. Keeps trying to slide out. Walking away. Are you walking away from something, Gemini? Similar to the Eight of Cups. Turning your back. Going through the gate. Entering your new life. And leaving some things behind. Hmm. Strategy. Are you making a plan to walk away? Strategy is about being very smart, writing it all down on paper, getting your list of pros and cons, and getting all of your ducks lined up in a row, but having patience. So you're having patience. I feel like you haven't walked away from something yet. I mean, we'll see what the tarot says, but you're patiently planning to walk away from something. A relationship? A job? Let me see what we get from the tarot. Uh, that was... The Energy Oracle deck, if anybody's interested in that. And I'm just going to use the traditional Gilded Tarot today. If you are interested in purchasing this one, it's called Easy Tarot in my Etsy shop. Okay. All right. Let's see what we got. Let me put this over here out of my way. Angels, Divine Spirits, and Guides, Two of Pentacles in Reverse. Are you not juggling something anymore? Show me Gemini for magician. Okay, well, that's your energy. Manifesting, being skilled, having all the tools that you need to do something. Creating magic. This one. Nine of Pentacles, Virgo energy. That, to me, would be someone who is independently, independently has all of the tools that they need to either be on their own or start their own business. You could be planning to walk away from a relationship doing research. Hmm. All right. Bottom of the deck, we have the Three of Swords in Reverse which represents an apology or healing, possibly. That's going to be your overall energy. Three of Wands reversed. Okay. Hmm. Temperance, the Moon, and the Nine of Cups reversed. Like, are you confused about healing something or ending something? Like, I feel like maybe that's why you're planning to walk away, because you're not really sure if that's what you want to do. Because maybe you tried to walk away and this person apologized. I got, I got healing here. A lot of healing. Somebody maybe doesn't want this to be over. All right, let's, um, let me take a look at this for a minute. I got to straighten a little bit here, guys, so I can see if my cards are a mess, I can't read them. It's just how I am. Perfectionist. Okay, Pisces, there's that two of pentacles in reverse. So I feel like you're dropping someone and they're not having it, like... They're saying, oh, no, you're not letting me go. This isn't over. <laughs> I don't know. It's like someone's fighting this ending. Sorry about that, Gemini. So the first card that you have for your past is the Magician, Virgo, Gemini, Energy. That is my skills card. I got skills. I can create magic. I have all the tools that I need. I can do anything that I want. And it's connected to the Nine of Pentacles, upright position, sign of Virgo, which is realizing your worth, feeling very confident, feeling good in your own skin. 
I feel like you did walk away from someone already. I feel like you were very patient in ending something because you had a lot of research and a lot of thinking to do here. You were making a plan, taking your time and walking away. And you either met someone new here or you were getting a divorce, which could be a possibility. And maybe you needed to save money. Maybe you needed to find a place to stay. But I just get this overall feeling that you were planning an ending for a long time. You wanted to accomplish goals. You wanted to go after your dreams. It's just that you were unhappy where you were and you wanted to change. I feel like you took a risk or something here. Well, maybe not because you got this strategy and you got this page of swords. So that tells me that you did plan, you did research, but your new beginning is here. The magician is a one. So I feel you got the magician, ace of swords, ace of pentacles, all in the upright position with the world card present. You clearly started something new here, had a new idea a new project, an opportunity that came in. But it's just about like, this is like positive changes, making things happen. I kind of feel like you were saying, well, I'm not getting what I want over here. So I'm going to make a plan and I'm going to go after what I want. I want to go after my dreams. I, 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 I deserve more than this. Like you're realizing your self-worth here. So I'm going to leave and I'm going to go do what I want to do. Because I mean, Nine of Pentacles is the single independent lady who doesn't need anyone. She can do it all herself. Maybe opened your own business, maybe quit a job, maybe left a relationship. It's like you communicated to this other person that you were walking away. A three of wands in reverse, you know, I, I don't think that they saw this coming. I don't think that they expected it, which leads me to believe that you were secretly planning to walk away by yourself to be independent and go solo. You decided to face the truth. You're thinking very clearly. I'm getting the truth hurts for someone else. And I feel like you're fine. Like that is, that's one heck of a combination. I really, really like that combination. Your confidence is through the roof. This person that you walked away from, maybe at a distance from you, they're spying on you, they're watching you. They're watching you be all confident, successful, and doing well. They wanna to talk to you, this is an apology. The five of cups in reverse is someone who's sorry. The three of swords in reverse is also healing and a reconciliation. But that world card is in your future. Like this person realized after you walked away, how much they loved you, how much they would, how much they missed you, how valuable you were to them. Like they didn't even know it. But I feel like it's very clear. I quit. It's over. I'm not waiting anymore. I've accepted this loss. I'm not going to get what I want here. I'm not happy here. I'm going to go after my new beginning. I'm powerful. I'm confident. I can do this. But this communication, this apology, like I'm feeling like with this combination, I feel like you're a little confused as to whether you want to heal this relationship with this person. I feel like you have chemistry with them, but you're just focused on other things. You're creating other things. You have other opportunities. You're, you're in abundance and freedom right now. That's why you're just, I feel like you're just enjoying life. You made a decision to drop someone suddenly because I feel like this person was, if, when you walked in and communicated or however, if, even if you sent them a, a letter or a text message or something and like you, you charged in there all confidently and you said, I'm leaving, I'm done, whatever it was, I'm cutting you out of my life. I'm not waiting anymore. I have other plans for myself. This person was floored. They just kind of stood there with this look on their face, dumbfounded, like, what just happened? What did you say? 
What do you mean you're leaving? Can't we work this out? Can't we compromise? Do you want more money? Like if this was a job, maybe they offered you more money to stay. Although I feel like you walked away and I feel like it ended. And then I feel like the apology and the communication came in after that. And that's when they offered you more money to possibly return. I just feel like you're unsure. I, I, I don't think that I want to heal this. I think I'm fine where I'm at. You're doing well. With the world card being in your future, I feel like you've graduated from this person. You've learned all of your lessons and you don't want to make a mistake and return there. You know that if you return there, it's going to be the same that it was before, whatever that means to you. Like nothing has changed. You may have either gotten your feelings hurt or swords are tension. Like there's some type of conflict and tension here with this person that you can't get over. You've accepted it. You're healing. I mean, you're really healing. It's like you walked away, you started your new life and you're doing great. And then this person comes back and you're like, why are you here? I'm all healed. I, I forgot all about you. <laughs> My gosh. I, I'm doing good. I, I got all these opportunities. I love my life. Uh, I, I, you know, I'll come and I'll meet you for coffee or something, but I'm not so sure that I, you know, want you back in my life. Like, that's how I feel. This person, they must have hurt your feelings. I'm hearing that saying again. I may forget what you said. I may forget what you did, but I'll never forget the way you made me feel. <clears throat> they hurt you in some way. You were disappointed. You didn't get your wishes. You didn't get what you want. You were expecting something and it didn't come. You were expecting an engagement. You were expecting a promotion. You were expecting just movement, period. Like you said we were going to move in together or you said we were going to have children or, you know, something like that. It, it's just you said you were going to give me a pay increase. They just didn't follow through. They didn't give you what you wanted. They didn't give you what you were expecting. And you got tired of waiting. And you're like, you know what? I, I've just accepted this. You're just not going to give me what you want, what I want. You're just feeding me a bunch of crap. So I'm going to walk away. I'm tired of wasting my time with you. So I've accepted it. I, this, you know, maybe it was a bad decision. Maybe it was a bad investment. I feel like you're frustrated because you wasted so much time there. Almost like you're saying, I wish I didn't give them so many chances. But I feel like you're over it. I feel like you're fine. The world is achievement, accomplishment. I do feel like you're clearing the air with this person though. I feel that the relationship ended so suddenly and maybe you haven't been speaking for a while since it ended and now like they're going to reach out to you maybe with just like a little text message or something like that to see if you're going to respond, see if you miss them, see how you feel. They're going to test the waters and then once they draw you back in, it's almost like They'll send text messages for a few days or something like that. And then all of a sudden, one day, you're going to get an actual phone call. And you're going to pick up the phone and they're going to say, hey, I was just thinking that maybe we could work things out or whatever. And it's almost like you're going to say, no, I, you know, I'm fine. I'm doing well. I, I got over you a long time ago. I, I got my own business. I met somebody else. I bought a house. I, I, you know, like, I don't know. I feel like you're doing great. And they're going to just say something to the effect of, uh, well, I'm sorry. You know, I wish things could have been differently. Uh, maybe I didn't mean to hurt you. Um, there is communication here and it's truth. So the truth about this person, I feel like they do feel guilty. They feel sad that things ended the way that they did. But it's almost like this conversation needed to happen so you could graduate. You needed to clear the air with this person. You needed to reject them. I actually don't feel bad about this person. I just feel like maybe they were a slacker or something. 
they just kept making promises to you and they or they didn't follow through on things and you just decided to go off on your own and stop wasting your time with them but your karmic debt is paid karmic cycle completed and i feel like it has something to do with this conversation that's about to happen you've gained a lot of wisdom and a lot of experience and you're even saying to yourself you know i'm not going to make those mistakes again thank you it's almost like you're thanking this person for putting you through whatever they put you through because you know you've grown the world card you know i always say new life new year new you i mean this reading is pretty beautiful gemini actually whatever you walked away from whatever you walk towards i should say has a lot of potential there could be something here on the internet with the world card. If you did start a business, maybe you are doing marketing or something on the internet. But I feel like you should be proud of yourself because it took a lot of courage for you to do what you did. I'm hearing that song, A Whole New World. I'm not a good singer, but I think that's, is that from a Disney movie? A Whole New World super magical something <laughs> I can't think of it right now but anyway ace of pentacles you are gifted someone has skills someone may be spiritually gifted here you may be doing something in the spiritual business with the moon card and the magician being present but you're manifesting you're manifesting you're like I feel like you're so powerful right now three ones I mean something is born something is growing something is beginning and it looks good ace of pentacles is abundance nine of pentacles is abundance ace of swords is victory the world card represents achievement I mean things are looking good I don't play with my cards Gemini I I shuffle them all up I'm very impressed like, I don't think people realize when I get a good reading, I'm very impressed because I let the cards fall how they fall. I don't put, you know, so many in the upright position or read them all in the upright position. But this is this is a good reading. Aces are blessings from the universe. Nine of Wands, final outcome in the reverse position. Sign of Sagittarius. That is my I give up. I quit. You were wounded, you were exhausted, you had many struggles in this relationship with this person. And you just decided that you weren't going to stand there anymore. You weren't going to put up with that anymore. I don't want to continue. I don't want to do this. But that is also about letting your guard down. I feel like I don't feel bad about this person. I feel like they genuinely made a mistake and they regret what they did. And they're trying to apologize and they're trying to fix it. I just feel like you don't want it. Almost like too late. You're so into something else and you're feeling so good where you are that you don't want to go back to this other person. But, but this issue has been resolved. This issue has been healed. The air has been cleared. Both of you are getting over it. I feel like you discussed what happened. I feel like you're both healing, honestly. Bringing your relationship with this person back into balance. I don't feel like your relationship with them is over. I feel like the lesson and the cycle has been completed. But I feel like with the letting your guard down, I feel like you almost may let this person back into your life, but have boundaries, you know? like open up the lines of communication, things like that, but just not go all back into whatever it was before. Because you're probably going to have some trust issues. But temperance can also represent compromise. But when I see that card, I always say that you're, you're on the fence, you know, you're testing the waters. I don't know. Let's pull some clarifiers and see what we get because I'm feeling some confusion with that moon card. I don't really know. I'm going to start off with Island Time Wellness Cards, Angels, Divine Spirits, and Guides. Show me Gemini for June 2020. What additional information do they need to know for this reading on the table? Show me Gemini. Gemini. 
Gemini. Woo! All right, I'm not taking all of these because that was way too many. But we do have acts. Can you see that? Break up, separation, stopping the pattern, silent treatment, abandonment. Okay. Yeah, the, it's a breakup, separation, stopping the pattern. I mean, this person must have, you could have gotten back together and broke up with this person several times and you just decided that you weren't going to allow that to happen anymore you weren't going to allow them to take advantage of you anymore can we have one more card for gemini for june angels please show me gemini thank you photograph looking at your photos missing you nostalgia making new memories they miss you, but I do feel like you had a lot of good memories with this person. I feel there was a strong connection here, possibly that you've been, you were, you know, together for a long time, but it was just almost divine timing for you. It was just time to go. It was time for this relationship to be over. Time for a change. Time for something different. Can I have one more card for Gemini? Angels, please show me Gemini. Wow. Okay. Hand of cards, take a chance, risk, being strategic, options, not showing hand, gambling. I did, I, I was kind of getting like some strange thing over here that you were taking a gamble on something. You did a lot of research and you were being very strategic, but I did feel that you were doing something risky. I think I even said that at some point because you had options I think it's more that you were just being strategic. Grim Reaper. The relationship is over. No second chances grow and transform your life. Okay, well, that answers your question. Because I was concerned with the moon card. I wasn't sure if you were like, well, I don't know. You know, the future... I, I'm worried about what the future holds for me. So maybe it's easier to just go back to this person. Deception on the bottom of the deck. What did they do, Gemini? Angels, show me Gemini, please. For June 2020, Gemini, what additional messages do you have for my Gemini friends? Show them what they need to see religious factors your love life is being influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path well that's kind of clear the spiritual path part of that makes a lot of sense keep an open mind so it does seem like you're doing something I, I'm feeling like I'm feeling like you're nervous I, I'm starting to get that energy of should I really follow my God? Should I really follow my guides? Should I really take this chance? Is this the right thing? I don't know. That's probably why they're telling you to um, let your guard down, open up, stop being so cautious, keep an open mind. Something, anything may differ from your usual type and expectations because this is unusual as well. You could be doing something here. If it is, let's just say that it's... Um, spiritual uh you could be doing something spiritual and you know they say that it's not accepted by society so but we do have express your love go ahead and make the romantic gesture if you did meet a new person uh, and you're unsure if this new person is going to work out for you they're telling you that it is go ahead and um continue with this new person I feel good about their energy. Let's pull a couple of Kipper cards. I like to keep it moving when I'm doing clarifiers. Angels, show me additional messages for Gemini, please. Child. 
Okay. Child also re represents, let me put those up there, starting something new. You could have a child with this person. You could be the child, but I feel like you're starting something new. Maybe it's just you and your child because we had that nine of pentacles next to the page of swords here. So we could have a single independent lady with a child getting her own space, getting her own place. Show me one more card for Gemini, please. Starting something new. I feel like you're really excited. Message. All right, we'll take one more since it's a message. Show me what is this message. One more for Gemini angels, please. Message. This one. Yeah, it's work that you don't want to do. So that's why you don't want to return to this person because it was just too much. The relationship was just too much effort, period. It's like no matter if it was a job and they're trying to call you back, you're just like, you know, you can't pay me enough money to go back there. I feel like that's what your message is to them. You're just going to say that, listen, I just don't want to come back there. Um, I'm fine right where I'm at. This person's going to be sad and unhappy, disappointed that you're not coming back. No second chances. You don't want to be stuck. Imprisonment. You don't want to be trapped in that prison that you felt like you were in. We do. Um, I'm going to pull you some advice from the Guardian Angel Tarot. Angels, Divine Spirits, and Guides. What final advice do you have for my Gemini friends for this reading on the table? What do they need to know? All right, that's, that should be it. Five of thought. The path you were on seemed what, like the right one, but now you've run into a cha challenge. There's a better direction for you that will make you much happier in the end see better direction changes are necessary so that you can get back on track avoid negative people who are draining or who bring unwanted drama to your life that's the five of swords so you thought that you were supposed to be with this person that the angels threw some kind of wrench in your plan and you've run into a challenge but that's because you're supposed to be in another direction. You're supposed to be somewhere else. So avoid this negative person who just brings drama to your life. Okay. Bottom of the deck, we have the three of thought. Loving angels surround you to heal and comfort you. There's so much healing here. The sadness you feel will fade away in time, and then you'll be able to see clearly how important this situation has been for your spiritual growth. Take the time you need to forgive yourself and others so that you can embrace the future with joy. I mean, that just made so much sense. That's the Three of Swords making a second appearance. There's forgiveness here. There's healing here. Um... You're sad, you're disappointed, you're frustrated. So is the other person. I'm sure that this, you know, just didn't work out. But it will all make sense later, especially if you're with somebody new, because I you're definitely doing something new. It's time for you to embrace the future with joy. I love it. All right, we're going to take two angel answers angels divine spirits and guides show me the final messages for gemini please for june 2020 a year from now okay show me gemini for june 2020 what do they need to know gemini just a year from now i feel like you will get what you want improving health yeah I, that card's been coming out so much you know when you're in a, a crappy situation no yeah you need to tell this person no a year from now your health is going to improve when you're in a crappy situation your health will start to do really weird things you'll have aches and pains and headaches and nausea sinus problems heartburn i mean you just have so many things 
when you're it, it, it just you don't even realize what a negative situation does to you and your body there's the world again you may meet a new person on the internet but I do feel like you're going to tell this person no. I feel like your health is going to improve. You're healing, healing, healing. I mean, this could even be depression. If you were depressed over everything that happened, you know, you're going to you're going to start to feel better. A year from now, you'll probably be very successful. You'll find the job of your dreams. You'll meet the person of your dreams. There's something about dreams here that somebody's going after. I am going to leave that there, Gemini. Thank you so much for watching. Good luck with your situation. And I will see you soon.